There's been tons of phenomenal quarterbacks in the past and present. Today, we will be going over the 10 best of all time. Honorable Mentions Johnny Unitas Johnny Unitas was a one-of-a-kind talent in his day. The three-time champion was one of the league's first elite pressure players and excelled on many of the sport's biggest stages. What helped to grow his legend is an uncanny grit and toughness in an undersized frame, even for an era before the giant athletes that play the sport currently. By numbers, Unitas had 40,239 yards, 54.6 completion percentage, 7.8 yards per attempt, 290 touchdowns, 253 interceptions, and a 78.2 passer rating. Otto Graham Otto Graham may not be a familiar name to recent generations of fans, but he was a true pioneer of the league and a game-changer talent during the NFL's formative years in the 1950s. The three-time champion and five-time pro bowler threw for over 23,000 yards in an era where the game plan for many teams was to run first, run second, and maybe think about throwing the ball on third and long. He was an innovator known for his patented spin move and was a forefather to future QBs. By numbers, he had 23,584 yards, 55.8 completion percentage, 9 yards per attempt, 174 touchdowns, 135 interceptions, and a 86.6 passer rating. These are also some incredible quarterbacks that didn't quite make the top 10. Number 10. Patrick Mahomes Patrick Mahomes has accomplished a mind-blowing amount of achievements within five years. There's no doubt that by the time his career is done, he'll be top three. He's already a five-time pro bowler, two-time all-pro, a two-time MVP, a two-time Super Bowl champ, and a two-time Super Bowl MVP at just age 27. If he retired today, he would easily walk into the Hall of Fame on the first ballot. By the time his career is over, he will most likely have smashed the record books. By numbers, he has 24,241 yards, 66.3 completion percentage, 8.1 yards per attempt, 192 touchdowns, 49 interceptions, and a 105.7 passer rating. Number 9. Brett Favre Brett Favre rounds out the 10 best QBs to ever play, his sheer production and durability outweighing his penchant for throwing untimely picks. And there's no question that those interceptions mar Favre's legacy. When considering who the great QBs of the NFL have been, a huge amount of emphasis must be placed on what those players meant to their franchises. Favre's 508 touchdowns, including nine seasons with 30-plus, are indicative of how much he helped his teams. He led the league in passing touchdowns in four seasons, holds the record for most regular season wins, and more. By numbers, he has 71,838 yards, a 62 completion percentage, 7.1 yards per attempt, 508 touchdowns, 336 interceptions, and a 86.03 passer rating. Number 8. Drew Brees Drew Brees had a very good stint while being the man under center for the then San Diego Chargers. However, when he took his talents to New Orleans for the Saints, he would build a legendary legacy that would solidify his place as far and away the greatest QB in franchise history. During 15 impressive seasons in Louisiana, Brees earned Pro Bowl honors 10 times and threw for over 4,000 yards in a dozen seasons, including four years where he surpassed 5,000. Brees was an absolute stats monster that also tossed over 30 touchdowns in 10 seasons. Drew Brees' biggest accomplishment was his effort in winning the 2009 Super Bowl MVP and finally bringing New Orleans their first and only NFL championship. By numbers, he had 80,358 yards, a 67.7 completion percentage, 7.6 yards per attempt, 571 touchdowns, 243 interceptions, and a 94.27 passer rating. Number 7. Aaron Rodgers There are few things that Rodgers couldn't do on the football field during a career that includes winning four NFL MVP awards and making 10 trips to the Pro Bowl. Yet, what may be Rodgers' greatest achievement in a legendary career was being able to follow another legend in Brett Favre and actually surpass that greatness and set a new standard in Packers history. When it comes to intangibles, Aaron Rodgers may be the most talented player on this list. Need a poised pocket passer? He can be that. 
Need someone who can detect and evade pressure, extending plays for 7, 8, 10 seconds. He can do that, too. By numbers, he has 59,055 yards, a 65.3 completion percentage, 7.7 yards per attempt, 475 touchdowns, 105 interceptions, and a 104.93 passer rating. Number 6. John Elway The NFL has seen many QBs with the athleticism to tuck the ball and run. However, few of them could do that while still also being an elite pocket passer in the modern era of the league. Denver Broncos icon John Elway broke that mold. What makes him unique is the fact that he was able to rise above his shortcomings in two previous failed Super Bowl appearances to lead Denver to back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins in the late 90s and solidify his place among the immortals. He is also the only QB ever to rush for a TD in four separate Super Bowl games. By numbers, he has 51,475 yards, a 56.9 completion percentage, 7.1 yards per attempt, 300 touchdowns, 226 interceptions, and a 79.86 passer rating. Number 5. Steve Young Young's raw stats are amazing, and when adjusted for era, his efficiency makes him look like the greatest quarterback ever. He led the league in completion percentage five times, touchdown passes four times, yards per attempt four times, and passer rating five times, all while making three first-team All-Pro, making the Pro Bowl seven times, and also winning two MVPs. He also had one of the greatest Super Bowl performances ever in 1994, throwing six touchdowns to win Super Bowl MVP. He won a lot of games, but the 49ers probably would have won another ring or two if he had been more consistent in the playoffs. By numbers, he had 33,124 yards, a 64.3 completion percentage, 8 yards per attempt, 232 touchdowns, 107 interceptions, and a 96.8 passer rating. Number 4. Dan Marino Dan Marino was one of the most influential quarterbacks of his era, and that is saying something since he never won a Super Bowl title. Dan Marino had one of the quickest releases of any passer in league history. Combine that with his ability to diagnose defenses, and you quickly understand how he amassed such stellar stats. He also had almost no help in the way of a supporting cast on his Miami Dolphins teams, instead elevating the players around him and carrying his teams to greatness. Many of Marino's passing records still are among the best in league history. He was excellent from the start by winning the 1983 Offensive Rookie of the Year Award and NFL MVP in the following season. He would also go on to make nine Pro Bowl appearances. By numbers, he had 61,361 yards, a 69.4 completion percentage, 7.3 yards per attempt, 420 touchdowns, 252 interceptions, and a 86.38 passer rating. Number 3. Peyton Manning If you were to create a quarterback in a lab, the first thing you would give him is Peyton Manning's brain. Manning's ability to diagnose coverages, audible at the line of scrimmage, and win the mental battle against opposing defensive coordinators is second to no one. Manning increased the burden of football IQ and film study irrevocably for all future passers. He also consistently made his offensive line's job easier by evading pressures. His efficiency and diagnosis ability helped him keep his sack numbers ridiculously low. Manning is one of the best regular season quarterbacks in history. His five NFL MVP awards speak to that. Manning is also a two-time Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, and a 14-time Pro Bowler. By numbers, he has 71,940 yards, a 65.3 completion percentage, 7.7 .7 yards per attempt, 539 touchdowns, 276 interceptions, and a 95.71 passer rating. Number 2. Joe Montana No matter what sport it is, fans love winners, and there was no better team at just that than the San Francisco 49ers during the 1980s, and no player epitomized that success more than Joe Montana. Joe Montana possessed one of the most crucial traits for a great quarterback, the ability to keep calm and operate at a high level under pressure. The comeback kid led the San Francisco 49ers to a fourth-quarter win down 16-13 with a 97-yard drive in Super Bowl XXIII. When his teams needed him most, he delivered. Montana won four Super Bowls and was a three-time Super Bowl MVP. Montana's postseason stats are nothing to sneeze at.
During the 49ers' 1988-89 playoff run, Montana threw 19 touchdowns to just one interception as San Francisco won two consecutive Lombardi trophies. By numbers, he has 40,551 yards, a 63.2 completion percentage, 7.5 yards per attempt, 273 touchdowns, 139 interceptions, and a 92.26 passer rating. Number 1. Tom Brady As great as Peyton Manning was at putting up wild stats and Montana was at winning big games, New England Patriots legend Tom Brady did both. No player has been to more Super Bowls and won as many as Tom Terrific. He is also the only other man to bring a title home for two different cities, New England and Tampa Bay. Yet what makes him a true one-of-a-kind was that he only got better with age and dominated the toughest sport in the world for 23 seasons. Winning 19 division titles with the two teams he played for and reached the conference championship 12 times. The numbers he put up in the second half of his career are unbelievable, but for his entire tenure in the NFL, no player was better in a big moment than Tom Brady. We've arrived at the GOAT spot and when taking the sum of all the parts. Stats, sustained success, arm strength, championships, it's hard to arrive at anyone except Brady. By numbers, he has 89,214 yards, a 64.3 completion percentage, 7.4 yards per attempt, 649 touchdowns, 212 interceptions, and a 96.62 passer rating. There is a very good reason he is considered the GOAT of the NFL. It's really impossible to make everyone happy when discussing the top quarterbacks in NFL history. There will always be those who are ranked too high, too low, or entirely snubbed. 